Halloween is being celebrated across the United States amid the pandemic. Health authorities have, however, warned against large Halloween gatherings. So how are Americans coping this Halloween? Find out in this next report. What do four-year-old Emma Mink and her sister Sophie love most about Halloween? Candy! Candy! The girls live in a northern Virginia neighborhood famous for the spooky house decorations and costume contests. I'll be an astronaut! This year, however, COVID-19 has threatened to scare away some of the fun of going door-to-door -door collecting candy. We're still trying to figure out what to do for trick-or-treating. Um, I know that it's sort of been discouraged. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warns that traditional Halloween activities in which social distancing is hard can spread the virus. Health officials encourage creative approaches to lower the risk. Decorating your apartment or your house, carving a jack-o'-lantern. If people are really wanting to pass out candy uh, from their household, one way they could do it is package things in individual packets and put it out on their porch. Americans spent $8.8 .8 billion last year celebrating Halloween, National Retail Federation says. The National Confectioners Association reports candy sales are up 13 percent this year. So are online costume sales, trade groups say. Instead, the hit is to local merchants. Around 200 businesses in Delray have been hurt by the cancellation of regular community events, including the popular costume parade. Anytime you bring 10,000 people um, into a small area, um, not only do the restaurants benefit with people coming first to have breakfast, but people that never knew that those businesses were here before, as they're walking up and down the avenue, they're seeing, oh, I didn't know that Kiskadi gift shop was there. Now I know. It's tough. You know, it's everybody wants to be out and about and everybody wants to, you know, do these big events. But it's until we get this thing under control, I think it's, it's better to play on the safe side. To keep spirits up, a scavenger hunt was organized in storefronts, and other activities have gone virtual, including the contest for spookiest house decorations. Emma's front yard is among the finalists. The attention is fun, but the family is making sure safety comes first. We have some people who, who come in the yard just with their family, and, and that's fine with us as long as they're not too close to us, and they're, they're very respectful about that. With other safety measures in place, the scary fun of Halloween this year promises to remain alive. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.